this week we are gonna be making sugar skulls to represent the Mexican Day of the Dead. Hopefully you were able to watch the video that I had on the previous slide and learn about this cultural celebration. I just wanted to talk a little bit about what we're doing with the sugar skulls. If you do not have access to a printer or if you wanna challenge yourself, you can follow along with my drawing um, tutorial on how to draw a skull and then add your designs after. Otherwise, you are just going to print out the blank skull and you are gonna follow my um, shading directions if you need to reference um, another skull so you know where it gets really dark back in these crevices and then where it's medium and then where it's light where things are popping out. So you might wanna look up a picture like this to help you with the shading. So you're gonna need pencil, right? For shading, any of your blending tools like tissue, Q-tip, and then something to add color with. Um, this one was a previous project that I did in watercolor. So if you have those at home, if you have you know markers, whatever you wanna use, colored pencil, to add your details and make your skull really awesome, that works for me. All right, so um, I can't wait to see them. I am making it an assignment so that you can upload them um, and I can see all of them, you know, instead of just waiting till we get back to school. So make sure you upload them in the assignment in your Google Classroom, all right? Okay, here's my little tutorial on how to draw the skull. You wanna make a little uh, plus sign so that you know where to add the other parts. Um, round the top for the head and for the bottom jawline, your upside down heart for your nose, circles for eyes, little ovals for teeth, and then shape it out. Then you can add all of your details after that. And don't forget to shade it. All right, how to shade it. Find all your dark areas. Then you're gonna move to your medium areas, lighter areas, thinking about what's going in, what's popping out, and use your blending tools to blend everything. you have all your shading done now it's time to add your fancy fancy details use whatever art medium you want whatever you have at home make it awesome it should be symmetrical meaning evenly balanced on each side Trouble, open, 